Good morning, y'all. It is September the 18th, 2024. It's around a quarter to six. I am at the Savannah, Georgia Waterfront District at Eastern Wharf. On this beautiful, quiet morning here. And it's so uh, relaxing, y'all, just to, you know, get away from the hustle and bustle sometimes and just meditate. Just reflect. Just exist. It's important that we do these things. A lot of us don't take the time out to get to really enjoy the creation of this world. It can be in a man-made form or its natural state, you know, untampered. But it's very important that we do get away from the hustle and bustle and get to a quiet place, excuse me, quiet place in a quiet space and just reflect and re-strategize and replan and reanalyze things and just try to figure out ways to better ourselves in every way. This is very good for the mental health as well as the body and soul. A lot of us are just too busy to get away from being so busy, but we got to learn to do this because this helps us grow. In this world today, y'all, we got a lot going on. You know, we hear about so much bad and so much other happiness in the world right now with these wars and the violence and the chaos that's brewing. It seems like everywhere we turn, we see and hear nothing but bad news. So that's why I distance myself from it. And, you know, I have to work with myself and build myself and continue to stay in check because we're human and we make mistakes and we're not here perfect we make plenty of mistakes so periodically you know it's time to Go back to the drawing board and improve yourself. Reanalyze your life and reinvent yourself. All the things that have let you down, the things that you failed at, your challenges, your difficulties, your opposition, negative energy, the spirit of doubtfulness and defeat and bad health. You want to conquer these. And I know everything isn't as easy as said or done, but it starts with the mind, y'all. Healing comes from within. If you really want it and seek it, then it'll find you. You just got to decipher in your life what's important from what's not important you got to learn to prioritize the most important things in your life from the least important things in your life 
you got to understand to know where your value lies and what your worth is you got to learn to understand what you're capable of doing based on what you are pre prepared to do what are you what are your potentials how can you make your life better how can you make your life better within your community All right these are some of the things that when you reflect that you would want to work on life is great y'all this physical life that we have now on this planet we get one shot at it to do it right life is not about material stuff you know the uh, the, the fancy things in life and the things that we all work so hard to achieve and acquire yeah those things can make us happy and they could at times and they can make us feel better about certain things that's not it because happiness doesn't lies in things nor did they come from things. Things are inanimate objects that are incapable of producing that. We gotta find that from within ourselves. You go to these third world uh, places and a lot of times you can see a lot of these people smiling and happy and playing and uh, cheerful and excited. Yeah, I know. Some would say because that's all they know. But a lot of those people live life hard. And yet they still manage to make the best and make do with, they, with what they have. And it's the same over here. America's what a, most of us is all we know. And we also do know for a fact that this is the greatest nation on the planet the best place to be right millions of people are always getting here at any given time right seeking better opportunities and we know most of us would not want to go anywhere else if we had the choice right so knowing that right there is enough said right we need to be thankful and grateful for what we do have because we're able as long as you got the use of your faculties and use of your senses and in your right mind you can achieve you can acquire happiness success peace joy but we got to learn how to grow and move in love because that'll help us with our mental health and our physical health and our spiritual self as well. We gotta learn to grow. A lot of us like to hold on to grudges and we like to pass judgment on others that we think are inferior or that we think have done us wrong or hadn't gave us a chance. And I think that's very selfish and it's also very, uh, it's ignorant. We gotta love, we gotta learn to love. We gotta learn to let go. We gotta learn to be real and be non-biased. These are things that will help us grow. Thinking out the box. Being creative. Doing things you haven't done before. Befriending people that are friendly towards you. They have good energy. People that you have probably never 
reached out to before. Right? But we always got to move in wisdom. Being wise, being watchful. Being mindful, being careful. Life is beautiful, y'all. And it's all about these things I'm telling you. We are so blessed, beyond blessed in this country. It's time to do better, y'all. Life is what you make it. With that said, y'all, I hope you all have a blessed day. Stay focused, stay positive, stay ambitious, stay creative, be wise, be watchful. Move in love. Protect your family. Keep it real with yourself. Learn to meditate and go to a quiet space and reflect. Reinvent yourself. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Yesterday's hardships were yesterday's hardships. Today is a new day. Start overcoming small things and work your way up. Stop procrastinating and work on the things that you know you can overcome easily and reward yourself for it. Whether that's buying something or doing something, but always reward yourself. With that said, y'all, have a great day.